This is a subtle masterpiece dedicated to our demanding gamers. It comes with a robust power delivery, a complete thermal upgrade, and the all-around connectivity. Meet the B650E Aorus Master. To power the latest Ryzen 7000 series processors right out of the box, an all-digital power design that drives up to 105 amps per phase is built to unleash every ounce of performance. For throttle-free access to the PCIe Gen 5 SSD, the M.2 Thermal Guard 3 keeps the device at extraordinarily low temperature even during heavy workloads. Three other M.2 slots are covered by the enlarged heatsink with double-sided thermal pads to dissipate the heat more efficiently. The B650E Aorus Master is engineered on an eight-layer PCB and the circuits are crafted by 2X Copper, giving the processor more headroom for overclocking. We also bring lightning speed to the build with the full compatibility of DDR5 memory. The improved DIMM slots and shielded routing design can now support up to 6600 MHz and even higher performance with pre-tuned BIOS techniques. A rich selection of connectivity provides extra freedom to DIY enthusiasts for countless possibilities. Two PCIe slots are located in an adequate distance from the first one to avoid interference from the graphics card, so gamers can install PCIe expansion modules at their will. Eight PWM fan headers, with four of them that can be altered for water cooling pumps, maximize the flexibility when it comes to cooling configuration. The B650E Aorus Master empowers all gamers beyond all demands. Now, it's time to master your game. Um, all right, let's get ready to go ahead and take a closer look at the micro ATX based model here for the Tough Gaming lineup. So let me go ahead and bring that board up here. And you're going to be pretty similar to, uh, excuse me, uh, to the ATX base SKU. We're just going to shrink things down, right? So we're going over to micro ATX. Um, you still have pretty much almost the same type of I.O. configuration, right? So two, four, six, and then eight. So you've got eight USB ports that are going to be on here. Um, you still are going to get 20 gigabits and 10 gigabits uh, that are going to be on there and a five gigabit space port. You still have the display out, Wi-Fi 6 and 2.5 gig LAN that's on there, USB BIOS flashback, a large robust VR heat sinks along with the team power stage design which is still a 12 plus 2 configuration again stable and reliable have no issues whether you want to do per core ccx if you want to do pbo you're going to be fine um, these also still feature the advanced 
ProCool power connections, which are going to be the solid pin connectors, which have a higher level of amperage handling uh, compared to a non-solid pin based design. And you also increase the actual load handling performance because we actually have dual EPS connectors that are on this board. Uh, three ARGB headers also on this board. Um, and you're also still going to get USB-C internally on this one. And then dual M.2 base SSDs, including Gen 5. And just like the ATX one, uh, PCI Express Gen 4 for the physical by 16 slot. But two M.2 SSD heat sinks that are going to be on there to get you covered on that micro ATX side. So I think this is a really nice option. Again, also if you're going to go for kind of an MATX based build, but you still don't really kind of want to drop down on really kind of any key specification, um, I think this is a well-rounded option. And then you still also have the uh, Tough Gaming isolated audio design on this board as well. All right, so that is going to be the MATX uh, Tough Gaming board. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.